Alright guys, this is probably my most craziest video of the entire year. Not, not even the entire year, but of all time. Today I'm going to be going over an in-depth, complete history and timeline of the Super Mario Logan channel, also known today as SML. Now today is, today's video is more of a documentary style video. It's more of a, uh, I guess, a history video. So this is going to be a video that is going to be more for educational purposes. And it's going to be cool to look back on all these different moments we've experienced throughout SML's time. So without further ado, guys, it, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get right onto it. And let's kick off SML with the very first moment it was introduced. And SML was actually introduced with just Logan playing around his living room and his, you know, entire house with a Mario puppet. Now keep in mind that this is the beginning of SML, which is actually 2007. So in 2007, SML decided that they were going to start their first channel and that they were going to just try to, you know, do some stupid stuff around the house and really just try to grasp the entire purpose of SML and just to kind of like go crazy with a plush. Right, and that's what everybody was hoping for, and that's what you know they were doing, and a lot of people really liked that. But again, as the year moved on, which really wasn't an eventful year, I mean, mainly nothing really much happened besides you know a lot of crazy videos. You know, then they started to structure their videos a bit more, include more characters, they bought more plushes, and then they really started to take off. And this is when 2008 which is what I would like to call SML's first year occurred. Now in 2008, we saw the birth of the first ever SML series that included, you know, I'm not saying this is the first series, but there were, you know, the introduction to SML's first series on the channel. And those series were Mario and Luigi's Stupid Dumb Adventures uh, season one. And then you also had American Idol, which was introduced in 2008, which was also pretty interesting. Um, and then, you know, just a lot of like, even Mario and Tony was a series back then, you know, you had Mario and Tony with all these new different, you know, different videos, you know, you had Mario and Tony's Happy New Year, Mario and Tony the Wiggles, Mario and Tony what is better, what is even better, like that was just kind of something that, you know, you could get to look forward to, right, and those were just some of the things that were, you know, part of on this channel. You also had the two part series Tony Gets a Girlfriend part one and part two. And I mean, it was just really a lot about Tony, Mario, and Luigi, the Mario and Luigi Stupid Dumb Adventures. And I mean, this year wasn't that eventful and all, but it was the start of SML's first series, which is what got people really excited for what's to come. Now, 2009 is just arguably an expansion of what occurred in 2008. And, you know, that really is what you would expect. Now... Logan actually did not upload much in 2009, um, so that is kind of interesting. Uh, like, really not that much. But again, you did see a couple of different videos that were just kind of expansions off of what first ha like first occurred, you know what I mean? Like, it's just based off the 2008. It was just kind of an expansion. 2009 really wasn't an eventful year by any means. So, uh, yeah, let's look at 2010. All right, and now we kick it off with 2010, which is, you know, a little bit interesting by all means, and they uploaded 48 videos this year. Um, but again, there were a couple of interesting videos. Now, we saw a few Black Yoshi videos. These were the start of the Black Yoshi videos, and, uh, you know, Black Yoshi was a pretty interesting character by all means, and this was the first time he had appeared, like, around this area. And again, around this time, we also saw, you know, a lot of Black Yoshi videos, as I've said. We saw Precious appear on camera for, you know, the first time, arguably. They made videos about Precious for the first time. We saw characters like Shrek appear in SML. We saw, we saw Woody be more common. Um, and just overall, I mean, this was a year that just kind of, it didn't really have many series going on. You know, Mario and Luigi's Stupid Dumb Adventures wasn't really a thing this year. American Idol wasn't really a thing this year. But again, there was still enough to make it interesting. Alrighty, and let's kick things off again with 2011. So 2011 is another interesting year in the sense that, you know, they started implementing the Angry Birds, which is going to be a setup for the Black Yoshi and the Bird series. 
Uh, but again, you know, overall, you know, con continuing at it, we got a lot of just weird videos, okay? Now, this was a year that if you watched SML, you probably enjoyed it. But looking back at something that was, you know, a little bit, you know, not anything like now. You know, you were looking at videos like Crazy Monkey, Cute Cats, Cute Cats Playing, like, does that make any sense? No. Again, there were other videos that were there, like Koopa's new job that was kind of interesting. You had Nerd and Bullies, which is a video that I get recommended to me a lot for some reason. Then we had the start of the Shrimpo Hunter series. We had episodes 1, 2, and 3 this year. We had SML Movies Stuck in a Tree, which is a video I actually talked about on this channel. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we had Toad is Cool. We had The Birds and the Bees, The Perfect Pizza. And that is about it. I mean, really, that really is about it. 2011, again, not really an amazing year. But now let's move on to 2012, where things start to ramp up a bit. All right, so in 2012, we got some pretty interesting videos. And, you know, they're honestly quite exciting for a lot of people. Now, this was honestly the first year that I could actually classify SML as watchable. Now, when I say watchable, I mean for someone who's a new fan to go back into old SML and still enjoy it. That's what I mean. Okay. Now, we got videos like Baby Shrek, Bowser's Cookies, Bowser's Birthday, Bowser's Milkshake. So, this is when Bowser started coming in SML. And it's kind of important to note that this is 2012, which sets us up for 2013 and 14, where Junior starts to become a prevalent character. Then, we also got, you know, other videos around this era that really were a continuation of Shrimpo Hunter. We got SML Shorts. We got, you know, the death of Black Yoshi. We got Valentine's Day. And really not that much, I'm gonna be completely honest. You know, I thought 2012 was gonna be like more of a hype year, but really it's not. It really isn't all that much. 2013 though, let's say hello and let's ramp it up because we have got some interesting videos to look at today. So 2013, we got Baby Shrek Episode 1, Baby Shrek Episode 2. We got a Bed Bug series, I don't really know what that is. Uh, but again, it does play a part. Black Yoshi's new Call of Duty. And now we start to see a lot of Bowser and Bowser Jr. in 2013. Not to the extent that, you know, we saw in 2014. But again, we started seeing Bowser Jr.'s Playtime Problem. Bowser's Juice Infomercial, which I actually really like that video. Bowser Jr.'s Cheeseburger. Bowser Jr.'s Macaroni. Bowser's 4th of July. Bowser's Biggest Fear. Bowser's Biggest Fear 2. Bowser's Christmas Problem. Uh, you know, you saw videos like Charlie takes a shower, Charlie lost his cake, um, again, and, you know, overall, I mean, that's just really what this year was all about. It was mainly about Bowser and Bowser Jr., and I don't really know by any means why it just kind of changed so suddenly, because, again, there was a change in SML videos so suddenly, but, again, I don't really understand why in particular, um, but hey, I mean, I guess that's that. I mean, I don't really know what to say other than the fact that like, you know what? It was just a rapid change in SML. But now let's move on to the year that I started watching SML, 2014, aka the year of Bowser Jr. All right, and let's kick off the year of 2014 with a bunch of, you know, Jr. videos. And that's kind of going to be the theme for the next two years. Because we've got Bowser Jr.'s Capri Sun, Bowser Jr.'s Happy Meal, Bowser Jr.'s Homework, Bowser Jr.'s Nerf Gun, Bowser Jr.'s Kool-Aid, Bowser Jr.'s Bowser Jr.'s Easter Egg Hunt, Bowser's Soup, Bowser Jr.'s Cell Phone, Bowser's Chinese Food, Bowser's New Sun, Bowser Jr.'s Happy Meal, Bowser Jr.'s Summer School, Bowser Jr.'s Summer School 2, Bowser Jr.'s Summer School 3, Bowser's Broken TV. So you guys get the point, I don't want to sound like a broken record. But again, you can see that the, the entire year is just flooded with Bowser freaking Jr. The, it's just flooded with Bowser Jr. And that's just one of those things you'd expect. Bowser Jr. completely flooded. Again, we did see Black Yoshi this year. We did see Shrek this year. But again, the main character was Bowser Jr. And a lot of people were starting to drift away from that. But a lot of people were also starting to enjoy it. And that's what people started subscribing for was Bowser Jr. Oh, and 2015 comes around, and now we've got some pretty interesting things. Uh, by interesting, I mean just a continuation of 2014. So, in 2015, we got very similar videos, but we got the, 
you know, the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire series. We got the Super Bowl commercials video, Black Hair, She's in Trouble, Cody's House, Mario's Date. Again, these are all videos that are not really junior related, but again, they did have a significant impact on SML. You know, you look at the other videos, you have Bowser Jr., Bowser Jr., Bowser Jr., and more Bowser Jr. But again, what's to be expected? I mean, Bowser Jr. videos were getting the most views. They were the easiest to make for Logan at the time. He even said so himself. So there really isn't any reason for, for Logan not to make a ton of Bowser Jr. videos. Sure, they did make a couple Mario videos here and there, Chef PP videos, Shrek videos. They stayed true to their older characters, but by all means, when I say 90% of the videos were junior videos, I mean it. Keep in mind that around this time, the Pokemon series and, you know, the Game Night series and the Playtime series, they were really starting to get into the nitty gritty. And uh, yeah, it was honestly a great time to be an SML fan. But now let's move on to 2016, where things take a, you know, things take a turn, let's say that. So, we start the year off with a Bowser Jr. video, a Mario video, and two more Bowser Jr. videos alongside a Black Yoshi video. And then on January 24th, 2016, Logan shocks the world and starts a video called Mario the Babysitter. Now, if you're an SML fan at this time, you're thinking to yourself, there's really nothing uh, that's a big deal about Mario the Babysitter. Little did you know at that time that that video was revolutionary to the SML channel. For better or for worse, that's something we can argue for days now. And it's honestly going to be a debate till the end. But what we do know is that Mario the Babysitter is by far one of the most... Uh, I guess game-changing SML videos of all time All right Mario the babysitter because this was the video that Jeffy was introduced in but I digress All right, we saw videos and more and more Bowser jr. Videos because that still didn't really like Jeffy still didn't make an impact I feel like people really want to start complaining that Jeffy the minute he got into SML destroyed it It's not true. Jeffy was not really an impactful character until 2017 2016 he was just kind of like an ISO character he was you know in some videos but really not that many because this year you saw videos like Bowser Jr's YouTube channel Bowser Jr's cloud card Bowser Jr's uh, credit card my personal favorite um, but then you know you're continuing who wants to be a millionaire you're continuing series like again the playtime series and the game night series uh, but again one thing interesting thing to note is that they started implementing Jeffy into videos so like who wants to be a millionaire three they added jeffy uh game night four i think it was they added jeffy and so again those are just some things you have to note and then around april around the middle of month uh, middle of the year sort of we saw a ton of jeffy videos like where's jeffy we saw videos like um for example jeffy's bedtime jeffy gets potty trained and the fishing trip and you know we saw jeffy's cell phone we saw jeffy's bad words we saw Jeffy's mistake, Jeffy sleepwalks, Jeffy's birthday. And so now it's really starting to be an equal level playing field. Because now we're starting to see a mix of Junior and Jeffy. You know, whereas at the beginning of the year, we really only saw Junior. And now at this point in 2016 and 17, there really was no room for any other characters. Like, when was the last time in 2017 you actually saw a Mario video? You didn't, and that's because those two characters were taking up all the videos. Why? Because they got the most views, and they were the easiest to make. And yeah, Logan said that himself. Now, 2016 was the year that they moved into the new house, which is arguably a very notable event. And I also forgot to mention that 2015 was the year that they moved into the apartment. So really, they only lasted in the apartment for one year, and what seems like to be an eternity. I mean, it really does seem like to be, like we th genuinely, with the amount of videos that came in the apartment really does feel like they've been in there for at least three years, but they've really only been there for just under two years. And that to me is really something that is questionable. And it's, it's kind of crazy how much they got done in the, such a small apartment with such a big crew. But yeah, one of the most notable things of the year, of course, was the fact that they moved into the new house. And this was the first house they had with two floors. So that was pretty exciting for Logan and for the SML crew as a whole. Specifically on October 20th, 2016 is when they moved in. Oh boy, 2017, the year of demonetizations. Yes, 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 the year of monetizations. You know, 
you know, in each year of SML, we saw some sort of upgrades, right? In 2012, in 2011, we saw the implements of Black uh, Yoshi, Shrek, Woody, Tony the Tiger. You know, in 2013, we saw the implements of Bowser Jr. 2014, we saw the implements of Joseph and Cody and all the other summer school characters, and they started to be main characters. And then you get to 2017, and you're like, what's new? And nothing's new, it's just a continuation of 2016, but it's a lot worse. And when I say it's a lot worse, I mean it. It is a lot worse, okay? Now, worse meaning there's just so much swearing going on that it, it actually becomes intolerable. I don't know what went on this year. Sure, there were a couple masterpieces like the bake sale, Nintendo Switch, and you know, the entire troll of the SML movie happened this year on April 1st, 2017, when the SML movie really started to become a thing, and Logan was genuinely pushing for this release date. Like, he was pushing for the, uh, he was actually pushing for the summer of 2017 for the SML movie to come out. And on April 1st, he said that he's going to release the movie, and, you know, he, he actually posted a video called the SML movie. And people were so excited. They were like, oh, let me grab my popcorn. And the reality of the situation was, is that that really never happened. It was just an April Fool's joke. And yeah, it was pretty funny. Now, at this time, Logan was trying to explain to fans why the movie wasn't done. And, you know, he released a, a movie trailer to try to cope with it. But that just really wasn't working. And overall... Logan just decided, hey, you know, we're going to be releasing the Super Mario Logan movie on my website because at the time, Logan was dealing with age restrictions and demonetizations, and this was the year. I mean, what do you expect when you release a video called Drawing Jeffy, where literally the entire purpose of the video is for Jeffy to cuss out his parents, explaining that there is a drawing in the house? Like, that really isn't all that amazing, and honestly, 2017 was the beginning of the end. For SML but uh, yeah let's move on to 2018 where I'm not gonna lie things don't get much better now 2018 was the first year that Logan genuinely started asking for help and it was actually like legitimately problematic he was asking you know people for patreon support he was asking people to subscribe to all the new channels because they needed funding and this was the year where their funding genuinely got completely scrapped and they were stuck between moving the Super Luigi Logan or Super Bowser Logan. They didn't really know what to do. And this was kind of a situation that was difficult, right? They kept swearing, though, this year, which is kind of shocking to me. The fact that they kept swearing over and over again this year was honestly mind-boggling to me. I mean, we saw videos like Jeffy Plays Baseball where Goodman completely cussed the living crap out of everybody. You know, we saw Fat Jeffy, where Jeffy completely cussed the living crap out of his parents. And yeah, I mean, this vi this year as a whole was just kind of crazy. And, you know, it's one of those least things that you'd expect. Because when someone gets on freaking Good Morning America, and then they g genuinely get demonetized, you start to realize that maybe you're doing something wrong, and that you probably have to change something. And that's when 2019 kicks in. 2019 genuinely might be my favorite year of SML. And why is that? Because they really, really chilled on the swearing. They moved channels to Super Luigi Logan so that they wouldn't get demonetized, so that they would swear moderately. And it's not that. It's that the quality of the videos were just amazing. This was the last full year we had the puppets. This was the last full year we had the plushes, not the puppets, the plushes. And honestly, SML was honestly awesome around this time. This was the redemption year for SML. We saw a ton of Bowser Jr. videos, a ton of Jeffy videos, but we also started to see Black Yoshi videos, Shrek videos reappear again. And it was just great. It was a golden era of SML. 2019, arguably one of the most well-rounded years of SML of all time. Um, but this is the last of the good years because now we get on to 2020 and 21. Because 2022, we can't really talk about, we don't really know what's been going on lately, it's just kind of been a continuation from 2021, but 2020 is a topic on its own. So as you guys know, 2020 was the year of the pandemic, and on March, thir on March 13, 2020, Logan made a video that was essentially talking about the uh, entirety of the pandemic, how it's affecting their crew, and you know, essentially... 
essentially what happened was that the crew was genuinely just starting to be, I guess, spread apart. They were starting to get spread out and things were definitely being impacted. While SML did have some great moments in their history, like reaching 1 million subs back in 2017, which is something I didn't really mention, but it is something they accomplished. The, you know, it was making Logan happy. It was, you know, really making him a more energetic person. You know, obviously they were dealing with situations like the secret door. They were trying to make some unique situations going on in SML. They tried to make the SML movie, but now things really came going downhill because now they were forcing themselves to really make a change to their channel. Pablo, the, vo the voice actor of Cody and a Brooklyn guy, could not appear in videos around this time, as we know, and that, um, that, that no, not only harmed the characters that were in the video, but also the script. Gotta keep in mind that when SML makes a script, it is not just Logan, it's Logan, Pablo Lavelle, and Pablo contributes. Whether you guys want to believe it or not, Pablo contributes to that script. So yeah, the fact that Pablo wasn't there made the videos a whole lot worse on its own. The structure of the videos were bad. They didn't really have a lot going on. And then a lot of people were so excited when the, the baseball game came out, out because that was a video that was the first video that was, included Pablo because it was an outdoor video. It was on a baseball field. But I digress. I digress. One thing to say is that towards the end of this year, Logan decided to implement the puppets in SML, which was one of the worst decisions he could make, but I guess it ended up helping him a lot. Now, he wanted to make a change to his videos, and he wanted to incorporate puppets that he was making, and this is something that doesn't really make sense to me, because if he, were, if he had the idea of using puppets ahead of time, it feels as though he was almost preparing himself for a cease and desist letter. And that brings me on to my next topic, 2021. Now, 2021 was the year of the cease and desist letter and the year of the puppets. So the cease and desist letter was essentially a letter that caused Nintendo to be like, hey, we don't want you using our plushes anymore in videos, so you have to start using your own puppets. Now, it doesn't make sense to me, and I made a bunch of conspiracy theories. Why, in God's name, sorry, but why, in his name, would... If there ever be a situation where you would predict that you were gonna get a cease and desist letter a couple months later so you made your own puppets that to me is blasphemous it's ridiculous it, it just doesn't make any sense I think Logan faked it that's just my personal beliefs I don't think Nintendo has the rights to say that in all situations while they do they do have some rights right because it is their content but it's not like I'm saying to myself oh it's not like he's copy pasting Nintendo characters and just, you know, copy pasting it into YouTube. He's genuinely using, you know, like, he's genuinely using merchandise that Logan made. Like, or sorry, not Logan, that Nintendo made. Like, if I started filming a video with an SML merch store shirt, it's not like Logan would say, oh, that's my, that's my content, that's my property. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, you know, delete those videos because I don't want my merch being seen like that. He can't do that. So it kind of, you know, I get it. Nintendo's a multi-billion dollar company i really don't think they give a crap about some guy who's making puppet videos on the internet but anyway that brings us to the end of the you know the entire situation the entire drama and the entire history of sml so yeah guys there are a couple events that i didn't touch up on that i just didn't feel like were substantial to talk about in this video again this video is quite long and I'm honestly, you know, I put a lot of work into this video. And if you did make it this far, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps more than you know. This is the most I've worked on a video in a really damn long time, if not forever. So yeah, guys, peace out, everybody, and I hope you enjoy.